What's going on folks? It happened again. Apple released a new beta version of iOS 13. This is beta 4 and instead of going through all the changes and stuff. So for this video, we're not going to go ahead and do all that. We're just going to go over the features that matter and the ones that are definitely useful. Now the device that we're using right now in this video is an iPhone 10. And a big complaint a lot of people were saying, if you have a phone like this or other phones that support 3D touch, is that Apple was slowly killing it. Well, with this beta 4 update, we now have 3D touch. It's now responsive to the press. So now it doesn't look like Apple really wants to throw this feature under the bus. It still works. And now as I'm showing you guys, it's actually responding each and every time I force touch. And if you may have noticed, we now have a new option right here. If you notice the little tab right there, we now have the ability to rearrange the application right there. Now this currently is only available on Apple's native apps. As you can see, as we 3D touch on these apps, but if you go on a third party app, we don't have that new tab feature to rearrange those applications. It's only on native apps that allows you to do that, but you can still wiggle them around like this. And then another new feature to this 3D touch, if you actually go into your settings, go on accessibility and touch, there's now a new touch option right here where it says 3D and haptic touch. When you tap on this, underneath there, you can actually adjust the touch duration. So if you want it slow, you can actually preview it by 3D touching right here on this photo. And you can find one that's best suited for you. I personally like to leaving it on fast. Now for your me emojis, whenever you're personalizing, before you could add earrings and such, but now you, you could actually mix match them. That's right. If you want to have a different style on each ear, you can actually do so. So if we put an earring on this one, earring on that one, they're both mix matching. You can all do the exact same thing with like other accessories like AirPods. So we could put AirPods on one ear and a hearing aid on the other ear. And uh, now we have a total of four different accessories on our ears, two on each side. So this is a really bizarre look. Not sure why you want to do this, but hey, if you want to, go for it. Now, another new added feature is inside the photo application. Now, whenever you look at photos, and if you're in the day tab, you got to make sure you press the day because if you're on all, it's not going to give you this little new number tab that you see down here. But when you tap on this, it will actually show you the, all the photos that you have taken that day. So these are like the related photos when that photo was taken or added. Now in the activity app, there's actually a new tab down here that says trends. When you tap on this, it will actually give you a graph of all the different trends you have, like fitness, cardio, standing, running, all that good stuff right here. Now, since this is still early in the beta, and I just barely started using this, my graph is empty, but over time, this would be where you could see your progress, make sure you're making good progress, or if there's some stuff that needs some improvements, this is where you can see all that useful information right here. Another new feature, well, improvement to a current feature is now whenever you have the music activated, the lyrics, you now have a smooth fade effect. Like as it progress, you see that the text actually becomes blurry. And not only that, whenever you go to the next track, there's actually a smooth animation this time. Before it was just like a rough color. Even when seeking through your song, that also been improved for a clearer clarity. I think you'll enjoy this new uh, enhanced feature. Now something new for iOS 13 is audio sharing. Now since this is still a beta, audio sharing was only supported with AirPods 2, but now the original AirPods now support this as well as the new Powerbeats Pro. So if you have some friends that happen to own these supportive devices and you both wish to listen to the same audio like video or music with beta 4, you can now connect to those supported devices. And now there's also a new share icon right here whenever you have two headphones paired up at the same time. Anyway, folks, those were the big major changes. The main features that should be talked about that they added on iOS 13 that's available on the beta 4 right now for the developer beta. And there's new emojis that's going to be available in the next, possibly the next update. That's why I didn't really want to talk about it on this video. Since this isn't on the device just yet, it's only previewed on Apple website. If you want to check out those emojis, you click the link in the description down below, but that's all just available right now on Safari. And also apparently Ford added a pickup truck emoji. They should have added a Raptor. That would have been dope. Elon Musk should actually hop in on this too. I wouldn't mind seeing a Tesla emoji, but I'm just scattering off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Again, if you enjoyed, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.